This is Local Matters on CBS 17 News at 4. With early voting underway, North Carolinians are already choosing who will run the state's public school system. Yeah, Democrat Mo Green is running against Republican Michelle Morrow to the, be the next superintendent of public instruction. CBS 17's Russ Bowen joins us. And Russ, you sat down with Michelle Morrow. What did you talk about? So we discussed a list of things, including the changes she would like to make to the public school system. But first, I asked her to respond to some of her controversial comments and social media posts. So first of all, thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. A lot of folks are very busy right now as we get down to the wire. Uh, not much time left between now and November. That's right. Just two weeks left. But thank you for the opportunity. Absolutely. And, you know, I have to just go straight to the elephant in the room, which has been in many rooms for you during this entire <laughs> campaign. But I want to knock out these questions so we can get to policy. OK, but sure. I do think it's important that you address them because we're still seeing many of these um, subjects come up in advertising. So I yep. think it's only fair for you to have an opportunity to respond. Absolutely. Um, so this is what we continue to see, uh, whether they're claims, whether it's something you might have said in social media, or whether you said this in public. The televised execution of Barack Obama, Satan taking over public schools, appearance outside the U.S. Capitol on January 6th, setting the Constitution aside if need be, advocating for a military coup. What's your response to any of these things you may have said in the past? Is there any regret with any of those statements? You know, I have to say, so for the last six or seven years, I've actually been advocating for medical freedom, for election integrity, and also for education reform. And so I probably have four or five hundred hours of video on uh, on social media, on my social media site. But um, unfortunately, my opponent has taken to, that is the only thing that he is focusing on in this in this. Um, in this political race. And unfortunately, as I've traveled the state for the last three years, I will tell you, the parents, the students, and the teachers and the staff of our schools are concerned about a lot more than facetious comments taken out of context that were made between friends four and five years ago uh, on do social you, do media. Do you regret any of these comments at all? I regret the way that I stated something, absolutely. But what I regret more is the fact that we are not focusing on how we can actually keep our children safe, how we can get the tens of thousands of teachers and families back into the traditional school system. And I regret the fact that my opponent is only focusing on trying to make me be the problem in the situation when nothing could be farther from the truth. Do you think any of these statements um, require an apology at all? No, I don't. So coming up in our next half hour, Michelle Morrow and I talk about her policy proposals regarding the state school system. We'll have that coming up in just a few minutes, guys. All right. Looking forward to it, Russ. Thank you. You bet.